Okay, this is homework number four, law of sines and cosines, and question number two. In this case, we're going to have to use the law of sines twice to find all the missing information. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to set up the equation to find angle C right here. And I'm going to do that by doing the sine of A, which is 21, over side A, which is 16 is equal to the sine of C over its opposite side, side C, which is 9. Then when I solve this, I can multiply both sides by 9, and I end up with 9 times the sine of 21 over 16 is equal to the sine of C. So then you're going to put this into your calculator, making sure you put parentheses around the 21 in the sign, and when you do that, you're going to end up with a number like 0.20158 is equal to the sine of C. Now, make sure your calculator is in degree mode, and then you have to do the inverse sign. So in your calculator, you hit the second function key first, then you hit sign, and it'll come up as something like this, and give you a parentheses, and then you put in 0.20158. One five eight. For my example, and yours will probably have different numbers, and when I do that, I'm going to end up with the angle C is equal to 12 when I round it to the nearest whole degree. Once I know that this is 12, I can find angle B by doing 180 degrees because there's 180 degrees in a triangle, and then I'm going to subtract 21 and subtract 12. Well, 21 and 12 is 33, so I'm going to subtract 33, and that's going to give me 147. Now, you'll notice that this is not drawn to scale. Most of the times you have to assume that the diagrams are not drawn to scale unless they specifically say that they are. Now, to find the length of AC, that's the same thing as saying side B. So I'm going to set up another equation. I'm going to start with my given information again, so I'm going to do the sine of 21 over 16 is equal to the sine of 147 over B. When you cross multiply, you're going to end up with B times the sine of 21 is equal to 16 times the sine of 147. Then you divide by the sine of 21, divide by the sine of 21. So here, I'm going to end up with B equals. Now you can put this on your calculator at once. Just make sure that you put parentheses around the angle right here before you do the division. And in my case, that ended up being 24.31. And I hope that was helpful.